Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Welcome back to Breakfast with the Silvers. It is the special day that we celebrate the Lord being born on December 25th. It is 2023 and we have a little special clip we're going to show you at the end. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be fun. Yep. Gifting. It's about gifting. Uh-huh. All right. Today's devotional, be helpful if I was on the right spot here, folks, is called God is Near. From Matthew 1, 23, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. So you have um, two scripture readings. The first is in Matthew 1, mm -hmm. 18 through 25. Okay. Okay. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, mm. was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Mm -hmm. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. And then you're going to go over to Philippians 2, mm -hmm. um, 5 through 11. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I gotta put this in the shade. <laughs> Being saved is a reality. There is a great deal of truth about having the peace of God. There is a great deal of knowledge in knowing that you are free. And there is a wonderful manifestation of power to keep you free. But I find Satan dethrones some of the loveliest people because he catches them at a time when they are unaware. I find these poor souls constantly being deceived by the power of Satan. Hear this word. When Satan is the nearest, God is nearer with an abundant measure of his grace. When you feel almost defeated, he has a banner waving over you to cover you. Mm. He covers you with his grace. He covers you with his righteousness. It is the very nature of the Son of God. It is impossible to remain in the natural body when you experience the life of God. When you are intoxicated with the Spirit, the Spirit life flows through the avenues of your mind and the keen perception of the heart with deep pulsations. You are filled with the passion of the grace of God until you are illuminated by the power of the new wine, the wine of the kingdom. This is rapture. No natural body will be able to stand this process. It will have to leave the body, but the body will be a preserver to it until the sons of God are marvelously manifested. Sonship is a position of rightful heirship. Sons have a right to the first claiming of the will I would like you to realize that redemption is so perfect that it causes you to stop judging yourself. You believe that God has a righteous judgment for you. Escape from the powers of the devil. You can have an abundance of grace, 
righteousness, liberty for the soul, and transformation of the mind, you can be lifted out of your earthly place into God's power and authority. Thought for today, Jesus left heaven, though he had the right not to leave. Mm. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Stay tuned. <laughs>